If you want the weather to show up in Google Calendar, I'm going to show you how. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I use Google Calendar for just about everything, and one of the things that they used to have was a lab where it would show you the weather for that day, and it's not detailed weather, but it was kind of enough to say, hey, that's going to be a hot day, a cold day, a rainy day, a snowy day, whatever it might be, and it was really useful, and I noticed that it's been gone for a while, but I have found a workaround here that will give you some indication of the weather. Now, this is really important because, you know, if you're trying to set a golf date or plan an outdoor picnic or or go on a hike or whatever it might be again you might not need great weather but you might be able to say hey Tuesday doesn't look good Wednesday does and it can save you a lot of time so that's why I find it helpful now I have my Google Calendar pulled up here and I'm gonna go to this web page and the first thing you're gonna have to do and you can follow along with me and just do it in your calendar right as we do it is you're gonna go to this website called webcal.fi and that is w e b c a l dot f i webcal.5 i'll put links to everything in the description below now the easiest way i think is to go down here to this manual subscription tab click on that and then click right up here on science and then scroll down here a little bit and you'll see weather now it'll show you here select a location what you're going to need is a latitude and longitude so that you can get weather that is specific to you now if you click on the select a location what it does is it brings up this map coordinates page and what you can do here is just kind of zoom in say i want uh oh let's say nice town libertyville illinois and let's say i want that and what it does is it shows me the latitude and longitude for that town now i can actually zoom in here if you really want to get specific on a location but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and copy the latitude now go back to my webcal page and I'm going to paste that into this box and I'm gonna go back to the Google Maps here and copy the longitude and paste that into longitude for me I do want it in Fahrenheit wind speed mile per hour that's all fine and dandy and I'm going to click on show URL and now if you scroll all the way back to the top you'll notice here that it's created this URL specific to that latitude and longitude. Now, you can actually do a couple things, but if I click on add weather to Google Calendar and you are logged into your Google Calendar account, it will automatically ask you if you wanna add this calendar. So I'm just gonna do that. But if you aren't logged in, you can copy that URL and go here to other calendars and hit the plus sign and add it. But otherwise, now I can just hit add and now it's going to add that URL to this calendar and it says calendar added there. And what you'll see here now is that we have little weather data here 69 to 83 patchy rain nearby uh, 72 to 89 patchy rain nearby 73 to 88 74 to 88 75 to 90 so what you can see is it's heating up here it's going to be pretty warm around here you'll also notice that it only goes out four or five days uh, that varies a little bit depending on what it has in the forecast but that's usually about all that you can expect i know some uh, weather forecast will go out 10 days, you know, they can get a little spotty. But again, this is really helpful because now you will have it in your calendar. It will help you if you are looking at events or scheduling things to kind of move them around to an ideal day or date depending on uh, if they're weather dependent. So it's that simple. It's an easy way to bring weather back into your Google Calendar. So hopefully that helps you avoid any spoiled plans due to weather. Peter Von Panda, out.